my journey with Lego and YouTube. The following video is a video in a response to a recent video posted by A Fall Man. Subscribe to his channel here and check out the video that this video was inspired by in the cards there. My love for Lego, I guess you could say, really began in 1999, the year I was born. Growing up, I just remember having Lego because my uncle and my bro my dad were really into it. So I just remember having it, you know, at my house, at my relative's house, and just playing with it every once in a while. In September 2008, I really got big into Lego when I was going to a friend's birthday party who was really big into Lego, and I just remember searching for a present for him and just seeing all the really cool sets that they had, and it actually made me dig out all the Lego that I had and just start building mocks with it and stuff like that. In November 2008, I was still really big into this newly refound toy, Lego. I went to Disney World where I got to see their huge Disney store and took a real, real interest in it, you know, building stuff, building sets, and I actually got a lot of Lego on that trip because I had just never been to a Lego store before and it was really amazing to know there was the whole store that sold it. In December 2012, actually, uh, 2008, sorry, at Christmas time, I actually got my very first big Lego set and that was the Lego City Police Station. I absolutely loved that set. I thought it was awesome. I customized it and did a lot of cool stuff. I actually didn't include this on the timeline, but in January 2009, I was walking the police station to my room and dropped it. Luckily, I spent the rest of the day rebuilding it. So from there on, my Lego love, was, it just went up and down. It was love, like, love, like, and basically all the Lego was just in my living room. I just loved it, I just liked it, I just loved it, and that was just kind of the way it was. I know I used to I play with it a lot at one point, and then I would just kind of stop for a little while, not because I didn't like it or anything anymore, just because I was a kid and new toys found my interest. And then that went on for years, and in April 2012, I actually moved all of my Lego down into my parents' basement, my family's basement, because there were, we just finished it and there was this new section for me to put my Lego. After moving the Lego to the basement, I just really liked it. Just got to do a lot more stuff with it because I had more space. In June 2012, I first organized my Lego collection. I started in bags. I put all the different parts from each area into bags and just put those bags in one big bin. That ended that for the time being. During this time, I discovered YouTube. I basically use YouTube literally just to watch TV shows that hadn't been released on Disney Channel on my iPod. I, uh, no, I don't, yeah, I don't even know if I have my phone at this time. I, I just would watch YouTube videos, you know, Sweet Life on Dex, Hannah Montana, all those shows that, you know, kids my age would watch at that time in their life. Eventually, I actually discovered Ellen. I, during this time, I made an Ellen building in my room and then started watching a bunch of Ellen clips on YouTube. One day in the suggestions to the Ellen video, I saw a Lego video. A Lego room tour video actually and I clicked on it and like I was instantly hooked like I was like oh my god you can really do a lot of stuff with Lego and that was July 2012 literally in the middle of the night or like really early in the morning just because I was couldn't sleep so I was like instantly hooked on YouTube videos and Lego videos right then and there after watching hundreds of LEGO YouTube videos, I decided that I could make my own, and in July 7, 2012, I created Brick Lover 18 and uploaded my first video a couple of days later. I chose Brick Lover 18 just because Brick Lover was already taken, 18th was my birthday, and I thought that was for the LEGO would work. I didn't choose LEGO because I didn't like the ring to it, and I just didn't think I should use LEGO in my YouTube channel name. So I uploaded my first video and it was July 11th, 2012 and it was about how to build a rising platform. It's in the cards there. It was a terrible video. I basically filmed it with no lights, just a white piece of paper and then did the, back, the audio separately because when I filmed it people were watching the TV and I didn't want to interrupt by talking but I really wanted to film it. That same July I went away on a family vacation to the Lego store in Virginia. During the same time, a tornado actually struck our town here back home when we were on vacation and there was a death in my family, so a second video was not uploaded on my channel for about a month. 
I didn't get out of LEGO in that month. I just didn't do anything like YouTube related with my channel or anything like that in a month. I eventually picked up the slack again and filmed a haul video on what I got in Virginia because luckily I had filmed along the way. I just hadn't uploaded anything. And August 8th, 2012, I got my very first YouTube subscriber. And I was thrilled because I just wanted to get subscribers. I didn't have a goal when I started YouTube. I was just... I, hey, I can make some Lego videos, they can, I can do it too. So I just kept working on my channel, just uploading videos when I uploaded them, didn't schedule anything, didn't make custom thumbnails, just kinda did what I did. Right at Christmas time I actually discovered Brixar, the famous Lego YouTuber. He had not opened Brixar yet, actually, he was still on Brixar's Basement Beyond. I think it was Jay Olson, and I actually found his Lego videos, like his room tour and stuff like that, and I was amazed. I really liked his videos. I thought they were great. But at this time, honestly, I had a strict only Lego policy. That means I wasn't subscribing to any channel that didn't upload only Lego videos, so I refused to subscribe to, subscribe to him because he had other videos uploaded at that time. 2013 rolled around and I literally started the year with 22 subscribers and I was thrilled. I remember one day in November I got four subscribers in one day and honestly it was just it was an amazing really amazing thing. And actually shortly after the new year started I found Brickstar his actual new Lego related channel and I clicked on one of his videos and I'm like hey this is the guy make really who makes really cool videos. Too bad he doesn't upload just Lego, and I wasn't going to subscribe to him until I checked out his channel to watch more of his Lego videos, and I noticed that he had created this all new channel. Like, I didn't remember his name, I just remembered how cool his videos were and his style. So I actually finally subscribed to him, and he was one of the very first subscribers, people that I subscribed to, because I didn't watch a lot of other people's. I also in there watched, you know, Brick Spy, Brick Show, and a bunch of people like that. Shortly after subscribing to Brickstar, I don't remember the exact time frame now. But I found Lego for Chris and his city updates. I subscribed to him when he had under 30 subscribers. Like literally under 30 subscribers. His city updates were cool and he made some other cool videos and I just thought that he was like, you know, like a cool guy who's just starting out kind of in the Lego thing. So I'm like, hey, I'll just I'll subscribe to him. By this time I had I don't know if I had more subscribers than him. I do think I did though. Just you know, I just thought he was cool and started to watch some of his videos. Lego for Chris then actually had a 250 subscriber giveaway on his channel. By this time I had not, I didn't have 250 subscribers, he was over me now and had 250 subscriber giveaway and it was a secret giveaway which I thought was really cool. I was just watching one of his haul videos and happened to see it. And Lego Man A Fall, also known as A Fall Man, actually won that giveaway. And that's what directed me to his channel because I remember in the video that m Mrs. Crypt Bricks for Eva did mention that she couldn't say his name right which was kind of funny but she you know mentioned check out his channel or something like that for whatever reason I went and checked out his channel and he had like really cool city updates so I subscribed there's not a lot that happened next I was hooked to Lego I was making continuous videos on YouTube I just sort of remember opening up a Bricklink store inspired by Bricksar I had a bunch of Lego minifigures like left over that I got extras of, so I'm like, hey, I might as well sell them and try to get some more minifigures. Or some more money to buy more minifigures out of it. 2013, I went to Brick Fair, Virginia on the way home from a family vacation and had like a great time. I really discovered more people in the LEGO YouTube community. I really just discovered more stuff you can build. And I, uh, I don't know, it was just a great event to go to my very first LEGO convention. That same summer, I reached my first, my goal of 500 subscribers just after a year on YouTube, and that was crazy. Like, I never, I didn't open my channel or start my channel to get subscribers. I just wanted to post Lego videos. No, there was no goal. In that in October, I decided I was going to re-sort of do my Bricklink store and actually make it to sell Lego sets, not just minifigures and parts. I wanted to sell parts and stuff like that. So, working on getting that store open with the huge help of Clutch from Bricks on the Dollar. So, in November of that year, I got a new LEGO room, and that really helped my LEGO hobby, just because I was able to build more privately, and just not have to worry about friends coming over, because I don't tell friends about this. That same year, in December, right before Christmas, I got 1,000 subscribers, 
which was absolutely insane. Like I never, ever, ever thought that I would get that many subscribers. And there I had it, thousands of people to watch my videos every month. And I just think that is truly amazing. Since then, I've just really done a lot with LEGO. I've gone to more conventions. I've gotten a lot more subscribers. I've gotten actual orders in my Brooklink store. I've built a lot of mocks. Like, I've just been really into it. And now, as of June 2015, I have 2,700 subscribers. I'm huge into LEGO right now. I'm huge into YouTube. My channel is doing great. I'm having a blast doing it. And basically, that's how I got started into LEGO and YouTube and my quick little journey along the way. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This video was actually a lot of fun to make going down the past, seeing how I got started into YouTube, how I got started into LEGO, and I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. If you like this LEGO related video, check out my YouTube channel where it is all LEGO all the time. It is BrickLover18 and BrickLover18.com. You can click on the subscribe annotation on the screen now for all LEGO all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO related video. Stay tuned for more LEGO related videos here on BrickLover18. Have a great day.